Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today let's talk about finding an equation of tangent line to this curve. And we're going to differentiate this curve implicitly as you can see that it's unlikely that we can solve for y easily. So we are going to treat y as a function of x and we are going to differentiate the whole equation with respect to x. So first we are going to differentiate the left side and we are going to use the power rule, bring the 3 to the front and then subtract 1 from the 3 and then we also need to multiply by the derivative of the inside. So let's get started. So we are going to bring Bring the 3 down here and then we get x squared plus y squared minus 1 and then we get a square here but that's not done for the left hand side here because we also need to multiply by the derivative inside due to the chain rule so we are going to multiply and then the derivative of x squared which will give us 2x okay we get 2x and then now the derivative of the y squared we get 2y plus 2y but because y is also being treated as a function of x we are going to also need the chain rule we multiply by the derivative of y with respect to x so we are going to get multiply by dy over dx right here okay and then the minus one will become zero so we are just going to uh, we're just going to leave it right now and then it's important to put this pair of parentheses this is important to remember to put otherwise this turn right here this factor right here is only being multiplied by the 2x not the 2y and then dy over dx so we do have to enclose this expression with the parentheses and then now the right hand side the right hand side because there are two functions right here as you can see that there is one function here another function here so because there are two functions and it's a product of two functions we got to use the product rule okay we got to use the product rule here so we differentiate the x square first and then we just copy the y cube and we do not do anything to the y cube so we are going to get 2x and then the y cube is just there and then the next step is to add and then differentiate the y cube and then we just copy the x square so we are just going to have the x square here and then we differentiate the y cube which will give us 3y square but there is still one more thing that we need to multiply here because we are differentiating y so we need to differentiate y with respect to x so we multiply by dy over dx dy over dx right here okay so now we actually just have that differentiated that equation okay so the usually the next step at this point is to find the derivative function and that means solving for dy dx but then see that that's going to be the heaviest calculation so to avoid doing that we can actually because we're really just finding an equation on the tangent line so we don't need to find this dy over dx yet we don't need to solve it in general we can actually start plugging in the negative one and one into the equation and then from there we will solve for the y over the x okay so we are going to plug in the negative one and then the positive one in there so negative one is the x value and then the positive one is the y value so let's just plug them in there so we have three times now x squared so we are going to get negative one and then square plus and then now the y right y square so we are going to get one and then square minus one and then square Okay, so now the second factor here, so we are going to get the 2 times negative 1, and then plus 2 times y, y is positive 1. And then of course, there was still the dy over the x, right? So just leave it there. And then equals 2 times now the blank, and then the blank cube. Okay, so the first blank, we plug in the x, and then the second blank here, we plug in the y, right? So we have negative 1 here, and then positive 1 here. And then plus okay so there is the three x square y square here so we can write it as three blank square and then blank square and so the first blank we plug in the x so we have that and then the second blank we plug in the y and then we have the dy dx okay so um this makes the calculation a lot easier than solving for dy over dx in terms of x and y okay so right now all we need to do is to actually do the calculation so as you can see here the one square is one one minus one is zero so there is just a one here and then you square it's still just one so you get three times one which is just three okay what about this what about this this is negative two and then plus two times dy over dx we cannot really just combine those numbers because there was still a dy over dx right here attached to the two so we we'll just leave it for now so we get negative two plus two and then dy dx okay so continue on this side we have negative one and then that's positive one times two so we get a two and then what about this so we have this positive one positive one three so plus three d 
dy dx. So let's just continue this uh, for this side right here. We can distribute the 3. So we are just going to just continue that calculation. So we are going to have negative 6 plus 6 dy over dx equals negative 3 plus 3. Then also dy dx. Okay, so now what happens is that we are going to uh, solve for dy dx. Move this 3 times dy dx to the side and then move the negative 6 to the other side. So we are going to get 6 and then dy dx. And then we got to subtract the 3, right? So subtract 3 dy dx from both sides of the equation. And then we have negative 2 and then plus 6. So we just get the 6 to this side. So add 6 to both sides of the equation, we get negative 2 plus 6. So right now we are going to have, well, 6 minus 3, 6 copies of dy dx minus 3 copies. We get 3 copies, right? So 3 and then dy dx. And then that's equal to 6 minus 2, that's 4. And so we can actually solve for dy dx here so we get 4 over 3 okay and what the what is this this is actually the slope of the tangent at that point so the tangent at the point negative 1 1 okay so this is what we use right now and then so now we can actually uh, start writing down the equation so to write down the equation we can simply just do um, we can use the point slope form so we have y minus y0 equals m times this this is the slope of the tangent right so x minus x0 so right now what happens is that we are going to start plugging the point in there so the y0 and x0 that's really just the point like the 1 1 and then the m m is what m is the slope so we are going to just plug in that information so we are going to have y equals now the y0 is 1 right so oh actually i should not use the equal sign right i gotta use the subtraction sign here so y minus y minus what y minus just the one so that we have the one here and then that's equal to that's equal to what the slope and then so four over three then we have x minus now x zero x zero is what x zero is like the one so we subtract like the one okay so basically we get the equation and then if you want to simplify the equation that's easy so we can also simplify that easily so we can have y minus 1 equals now start distributing the 4 over 3 to both terms inside the parentheses so we are going to get 4 over 3x this becomes a plus as you can see subtract the negative 1 so you get 4 over 3 times positive 1 so plus 4 over 3 and then just keep going we can write it in the uh the slope into set form we can write it in the y equals mx plus b form so move the one over so that means four over three adding the one so we are going to get y equals four over three x and then plus now four over three plus one one is three over three so four over the three plus three over three we get seven over three and that's our final answer so this is the this is the final answer this is the equation of the tangent line to the to this curve at this point okay so that's it for this problem i will see you next time thank you for watching